if my father built this thing. We need to find him. All right. How many do I need? They are requesting a call sign. It's, um, Rogue. Rogue One. And they're interesting because there is a combination between the practical and the digital, that we're using digital technology uh, to remove things, not, not necessarily place them, but to remove them. So it, it allowed us to think about characters a little bit more outside of the box and to say, OK, it doesn't matter that we might see that part of someone's head because this is a, a great design and Gareth really wants this to look a certain way and, uh, and we'll remove that part digitally. And that's a, that's a little further push on. Some are completely practical, uh, and some will require some, uh, you know, uh, uh, some extra digital work, and I think it will give them a, a new flavour. Um, I love that idea, and I think it's an idea that we should, I would hope to explore more and more, which is where the two techniques come together, where you can, you can practically bring a significant amount of a character to screen, but you can push it further than maybe the audience are used to, uh, by having uh, the help of the digital world. Uh, I don't think that's been fully explored yet, and I think there's a lot of things that can be done in the future that will make from ex some extraordinary characters. They have no idea we're coming. Take hold of this moment. The force is strong. Make ten men feel like a hundred. We'll take the next chance. We design initially with the director, we design the creatures or the characters, so we have a little team of people who are concept artists, if you call them that, uh, who pen up initial ideas and uh, for any, you know, there's no uh, strict rules at the beginning, the idea is just to sort of, it's a bit like sort of make it a dish with lots of ingredients and, um, and so we draw up the droids and the characters, uh, however they might be, whether they're creatures completely or whether they're part human, any of these things. And so uh, we quickly get to a point, hopefully, with the director where we, he understands, um, uh, in a sense, the, the things that we can do practically. Because obviously we always have to be uh, uh, mindful of the fact that we have to bring these to life practically, that we're not going to use them as digital characters. And I think once uh, he understands that, or she understands that, or it may be, um, we begin to get to, an, uh, uh, get to know their creative mind a little bit as well. So there are certain drawings or certain creatures that they will react to more than others, and that gives us a little bit of a hint of saying, OK, that's, that's, that's the kind of direction that we need to go in. He wants you to be spontaneous. He wants the characters to be spontaneous. He wants to find that moment his way. And that's really intriguing because it, instead of coming onto the set with a, a preconception of what you're doing and over managing it potentially, the idea is that you come on with a character that has a sense of its own of, of who it is. That's that's all it is. It's like me, you, and I sitting here right now. We are having a conversation and we're being filmed and. Uh, it's not rehearsed, we're just talking. And for Gareth, that's what he wanted out of the creatures. He wanted them to be part of the world, to, to make no... And they're not necessarily any more important or any different than any other part of his world. And that we would, uh, in a sense, approach it in that way. And so when we perform them and when we're on the set, we're never sure when the camera will find us, we're never sure whether we're front, front of camera, whether we're in the background. And that is... Uh, that has a brilliance to it.